Welcome to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. If this is your first time here, thank you for watching. If you're a repeat offender, thank you for coming back. Today we are reviewing a brand new bottle from the Michter's Distillery. This is the one whiskey you can't talk about in the airport. This is the 2022 Bomb Burgers. America. This Bomb Burgers was picked up just a few days ago for $109, which I believe is MSRP. It was just sitting on a shelf at a store local to me. The same place I got the 2021 version. Like always, Bomb Burgers is 108 proof and is Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. The batch that I just poured is batch number 22G2146 and is bottle number 1105 of 2014. Bomb Burgers Declaration is honoring American whiskey tradition. Bomb Burgers Declaration Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Bomberger's Declaration Bourbon honors the legacy of the former distillery known as Bomberger's in the 1800s and later as Michter's in the 20th century. That was a long sentence. That sentence used all of my breath. All of my glorious whiskey breath. Little bit of an SJ. What makes this bourbon different from any old regular Kentucky straight bourbon is the fact that part of the bourbon is aged in chinkapin oak barrels. Those oak barrels were dried and seasoned for three years before they were toasted and charred. What percentage of the bourbon in this batch was aged in those chinkapin oak barrels? Who knows? But it does provide a bit of complexity on the nose, if I remember correctly from last year. Bomb Burgers going in for a nose on this 2022 Bomb Burgers. Ooh, Christmas corn. You open up the giant tin bucket of popcorn that has the three different types or four different types of Christmas corn in it. Christmas popcorn. Wow, that's what that smells like. But in a good way. Caramel corn, cheesy corn, poppy corn, kettle corn. The nose kind of reminds me of a toasted barrel bourbon. It does seem like whatever barrels these were aged in had probably a pretty significant toast on them. But it's not off-putting in the slightest. It actually makes it smell sweet and good, where a lot of toasted bourbons smell sweet and bad. There's a bit of fruitiness on the nose as well, maybe like a blueberry, maybe in the blueberry category. Not a lot of extra dark bourbon notes are coming out of here. This is a more of a bright bourbon. A little bit brighter. Typically on these Bomberger's bottles, the 2020 and 2021 releases, I found myself enjoying them more after they were open for a while, for some reason. 2022 Bomberger's down the hatch. Ooh. I like that. A little bit of a citrus zestiness. That is sweet and citrusy and has a real creaminess to it that I'm enjoying. The proof point of 108 is what some proofologists would call great. It's a nice solid proof for this particular pour. The second sip is making me love this bourbon more and more. The second sip, the oiliness really started to coat the interior of the mouth. It really started just putting a second layer on. There might be the slightest bit of nut in there, like the slightest bit of peanut, but it's like a honey roasted peanut. Something that is a quality, like maybe a, oh, or maybe one of those almonds you get at the fair, the sugary almonds maybe. I really, really like this a lot. Um, I want to pour last year's, the 2021 version, just to see how it compares, but I do really, really like this Bomberger's Declaration this year. Right out of the gate, super good. The 22 nose smells more like a toasted barrel product. The 21 nose is less of that, it's still there, but it's replaced by something that's different. More cake frosting on the 2021, but maybe that's why I enjoyed it more after it opened up and got some air. 
maybe that toasted barrel note that I don't typically love was stronger on the 2021 release when I first opened it and then dissipated after time. Maybe that's why I found this more enjoyable later. 2021 down the hatch. The 2021 is fruitier. It goes in a bit of a different direction than the, than the new batch. 2021 is super solid. It doesn't have that super creaminess that the 2022 has, but the flavors on the palate are like a little bit brighter fruit and just a different experience. The 2022 is more toffee-like, a little bit more toffee and maybe some milk chocolate. I like the 2021 a lot. And I like the 2022 a lot. I'm going to award two scores tonight since I don't think I ever reviewed the 2021 bottle. 2021 Bomb Burgers receives a score of 7.8. The newest version, the 2022 release, I would say is slightly better. A little bit more up my alley. I give the 2022 Bomb Burgers a score of great. It's an 8.0. 2021, 7.8, 2022, 8.0. Might as well pour the 2020 also while we're at it. America. Just for S's and J's, shits and jiggles, let's go in for a nose of the 2020 version. Oh, the 2020 version is paling in comparison to the two newer versions. Maybe it needs a good swirl job. Give it a good old swirly poo. Oh, these keep getting better. 2020, third place. 2021, second place in my book. 2022, first place in my book. The 2020 version just seems a bit thin. And if I had to score the 2020 version, I would probably give it uh, maybe a 7.3, 7.2, somewhere in that realm. Let's go 7.2. It's good. It is good, but they're continually getting better, which makes me happy. Makes me a happy guy. You know what else makes me happy is when you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up and leave a comment below, letting me know how much of the bomb you are and how much we all love burgers. And tell me which burgers you think are the biggest bomb meaning what are the best burgers. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on just doing you and kind of forgetting about what others think. What others think really shouldn't play a factor in how you do you. Sometimes hearing people say things is a bit difficult to hear. Sometimes it kind of hits a little deep it makes you like feel a bit bad. But if you take a step back and look at the grand scheme of things, those people's opinions who aren't close to you do not matter, even if they kind of hurt. 